Someone just tell me if it's glitching. Okay, amazing. We're good. Alright. So, I want to address three things before we get started. And then we're going to talk about The Office. Um, okay, first. I need to put my car in park. First. Either two or three weeks ago... I was on one of these, and I said that there was a release the following week. I lied. Not on purpose, but I lied. The good sign... The good news is that release is now finally happening next week. Sooner than you think. Um... And I'm not going to say anything more. There's a lot happening next week. And I cannot wait. That's it on that. Number two. There is a... There are a couple live stream concerts happening. Um, in the next couple weeks. One of them is tomorrow. I'm going to post the RSVP link again tomorrow. Um, it's fun. It's a very fun concert. And it's the first time the new songs have been performed with the band. So come. It's fun. That is... Tomorrow's Thursday, right? That is tomorrow. I will post links and swipe ups and everything. Third. Really quick. On last week's live, I was talking about pet peeves. And... Um, on the last one before Omar joined, I was talking about how it bothers me when people, I might as well start driving. It, I was talking about how it bothers me that when people get a, get like a hint of fame or whatever and start going on lives and telling their entire life story and like I felt hella hypocritical saying it because I didn't describe it right and no one came after me for some reason but I just felt bad about how I described it because it just sounded like I was being a hypocrite because now I'm doing these lives but I just want to explain something I do these lives because I want one piece of consistent content that people can expect um, and that is like scheduled out, right? Once a week, every Wednesday. Because when you're an artist, everything is like the opposite of that. It's random, it's unpredictable, it's scattered. There's a lot of downtime between releases and songs and albums and videos. And... The last thing you want to do is lose people's interest. Sir, what are you doing? Um, and the last thing you want to do is lose people's interest. So I, I went to my team and I was like, I want to do one thing that's just consistent. Weekly, bi-weekly, whatever. And I don't want to do YouTube. And I don't want to do a podcast. So how can we get the same like energy and like connecting with fans um without doing those things and i was like listen i get two c coffees a day let me just take them along for one of them on instagram live and it'll just be its own thing and you have to be there and that's it or you miss it and that's it that's all this is um versus like you know what i'm what i meant when i was talking about that shit um I just wanted to explain that. And now we can move forward. Um, let's talk about the office. That is the topic. If you know me, you know I watch two things. I watch the office and I watch like all those nature, like planet earth, blue planet, night on earth, life. Um, all those like earth 
things. Whatever. But I have been watching The Office, um, like, on repeat for five years. I did the math the other day. It's been five years re-watching The Office. Um, and hopefully everyone here has seen it, um, at least once. I would hope a, more, much more than that. But, um... I want to talk about it because I think that I feel very deeply about The Office. I feel a very deep connection. Because I think that The Office is like... I'm yelling. I don't know why I'm yelling. I think The Office is like... It's like a textbook for life. And I think you can actually learn. Like, you can learn... I don't even know how to explain this. Where do I start? This is my main thing. I know... For every person that's in the office, every character, all of them... Um... I've met a hundred people for each character, if this makes sense. Like, I've met a hundred Dwights, right? Like, they're real people, and I've met so many of these types of people. And the show teaches you how to deal with them. I know I sound crazy. I'm not. I feel very deeply about The Office. So I'm going to get in and we're going to analyze it. Um, for example, Jim Halpert. Everyone should be more like Jim. Jim is, the, um, Jim is a beautiful person. And he finds the beauty in everything. He finds... And he's also the only self-aware person on the show. So you kind of just learn the dynamic of all these types of people and how to deal with them in the real world. <laughs> the views are dropping. No one wants to hear about The Office. Um, can I go? Can I go? I'm sorry if you don't like this. I feel very strongly about it. Um... But I think, like, I'm gonna, sh when I have kids, this is like, I'm gonna put this on TV and that's it. I'm gonna tell them TV is this. Like, there's nothing outside of it. This is what TV is. And so then when they, whenever they wanna watch TV, it's just that, right? Like, they're not gonna know what SpongeBob is. Cause I think it actually teaches you about life and how to deal with people. You know what I'm saying? And and you can learn from Michael too. Like I I've met a hundred people that are exactly like Michael Scott. And you can learn like <sighs> relationship dynamics from him and how many tries he takes at it and what works and what doesn't work. How he deals with it. I th I'm thinking, I know it sounds like I'm overthinking this, and I probably am, but I do think that there's something here. Dinner Party is a good episode. Yeah, Michael and Holly are, and then he finds it, right? Like, he, ah. Uh. I think I should have thought this concept through a little bit more. Um, because I do see the views going down quite a bit, and I don't. I think if I had really constructed like an essay about The Office, that would have been great. But I didn't. I'm just obsessed with it, and I uh, was watching it this morning. So that's that. Um. Really, I just wanted to um, use today's live to just warn you 
Okay, fuck the office. We're done with the office. I think I sound kind of out of my mind. So here's the thing. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to go. I'm going to say two things. Next week is going to be a big week. Um, and I'm excited for it. And it's going to be very inclusive as well. I'm going to get to connect with you guys directly. And that's all I'm going to say on that. I might, I might leave this very early. I'm sorry. I didn't... Um, yeah, I didn't think this one through. I should have done what I did the other week and just admitted it. That I was not prepared. But I am not prepared. The last thing I'm going to say. Is go fucking vote. And wash your mask. Wash your mask. And if you're not washing your mask, um, stop buying the uh, disposable ones or whatever. Get a reusable one and don't forget to wash it. That's all I'm saying. Um, please get excited for next week. You know I warned you the day before, but just expect something to be coming.